oil reserves to meet this crisis. Our next guest says yes. He's Congressman Peter Welch. He's a Democrat from Vermont. Uh, he sits on the Energy and Commerce Committee. So, Congressman, when would you like to see that done? Well, right away. You know, there is a strategic petroleum reserve that has over 700 billion uh, or million barrels of oil, and it belongs to the American people. Three times in the past, the first President Bush, the second President Bush, and President Clinton released that oil into the market. And what it did is it reduced prices significantly and immediately, 33% in the case of the first President Bush, 19% with the second uh, Bush, and 9% with President Clinton. So it helps to arrest the speculative premium that we're paying at the pump and is hammering the middle class and our small businesses. And I, I checked the gas prices when those oil prices came down around those time, and, and, and we did see a trickle-down effect to, to gas prices. But we're about $45, $46 away from the all-time record high for oil prices. Uh, and some say that we should really wait until this is a real emergency. How would you determine whether or not we're at a real emergency level or not? Well, this is really threatening the recovery. We're in a fragile economic recovery now, and these high oil prices are hurting homeowners, uh, hurting consumers, and hurting our small businesses. And it's the type of thing that you can do strate uh, tactically, really. The president can release some into the market. It sends a signal to the speculators that they're not going to get a free ride on the upside. They have some money at risk if the price comes down because we've increased the supply. So this is just a tool that is in the toolkit for the president and for the country to try to help our consumers. By the way, once that price goes down, we'll refill the strategic petroleum reserve and be able to do it at lower gas prices. As far as refilling that reserve, though, we could still see the oil prices going up. And so wouldn't that cost the taxpayer? Just the way the, the, the trickle-down effect helps us at the gas pump, we could also see the trickle-down effect for the cost of oil if we have to refill when oil's at $145 a barrel rather than 100 right now. Well, you're right, and that's why this has to be managed wisely. It's not like a free ride. We've got to make a prudent decision. But what you're seeing with what's happening in the Middle East right now is a significant spike in the price because of the speculative premium, not just because of the demand. So I think it's the time to do it. Uh, we're in a state of fragile recovery. Gas in some places is pushing four bucks a gallon. Uh, so the president sends a signal. He can change his mind and revise it, but it's a tool that's available to the president to help the consumer, to help our small businesses in all parts of the country. Have you gotten a response from the president? We haven't, but the argument we're making, and our colleagues in Congress like it, is that, hey, this has worked before. I mean, Democratic President, President Clinton, two Republican presidents, President Bush, both careful uh, about maintaining the integrity of that strategic petroleum reserve, saw the advantage to the American economy, the American family, by releasing some uh, oil from the, the reserve. So it, it's worked before. Why not try it now and see how it works for all American All right, Congressman people? Welsh, well, we appreciate you talking to us about it today. We'll, we'll wait on that response, whatever it is, and we look forward to talking to you again, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. A Fox News alert. New video just into the newsroom.